Hey guys, so uh, I'm going to do a little video on the um, timeshare that we have in Las Vegas. We go here every other year, and there will be some off-roading videos um, in Vegas too, um, but there will be a couple um, kind of travel videos showing off um, our trip to Vegas. It's this black-looking building on the right. It's on the Miracle Mile um, is what they call it. It's this big uh, Planet Hollywood um, thing next to the building on the right. Um, so there's basically about a mile of mall on the inside like that uh, that it's attached onto and then uh, you can see right here we are approaching uh, the Las Vegas strip so this is like the inside um, the lobby and uh, there's a swimming pool and a Christmas tree that you saw when we uh, did the little quick uh, um, Christmas thing and there's a Starbucks down there that's the entrance to the mall and it's all decorated for Christmas because we were here um, over Christmas so I'm gonna show you our room Hey guys, so we made it to our hotel room. This is our hotel. Um, it's Olaria, or Alar, or whatever. Um, this is like what our hotel room looks like. Or timeshare if you want to, whatever. Or timeshare. So if we look out the window from here, we're on the 52nd floor. And, uh, um, yeah, that's something. I don't know what that is. That's something else right there. You can see like over there, there's MGM Grand right there, the big green one. And then uh, behind it is the pyramid and then uh, the um, Delano and there's a uh, Mandolin Bay and the park MGM and uh, the Gucci store. I don't know what the other ones are over there. Um, oh, I think I can see Circus Circus too. Yeah, Circus Circus over there too. Um, and then if you look that way, you can see like the mountains and everything. Um, in that direction. So it'll light up at night. Um, we'll get some footage of it like at night. Um, but uh, this is the room. And uh, like it has like a little uh, refrigerator and everything. And then like a, um, like the bathroom has like two doors. Like there's a door and then like another door. Um, and then like this super fancy uh, um, like deep shower and everything. It's like pretty cool. So. Uh, this is where we stay in Vegas um, when we come out here. I'm um, really. Hey, so this is our pool area. Um, I'm just like astonished because I've never actually seen it open, as stupid as that sounds. Um, and we've been to this hotel like every other year for like the last six years. And apparently they close this pool like two weeks a year. And every time we come here, it's like the two weeks that they have it closed when they when they do the maintenance. Um, but for whatever reason, because the weather's all like freaky weird, um, our pool's actually open um, even though it is like. Christmas and uh, yeah so I'm just like walking around and we have like three lifeguards that are just sort of, sort of like sitting there staring at the pool and like it, it's just kind of weird we were here for like a whole week and like there's always been like three lifeguards out here like staring at the pool but, but there's like nobody in the pool like at all like ever so it must be like the most boring job in the world to be like a lifeguard at this hotel because you're just sitting, sort of sitting there staring at like a uh, an empty pool and uh, the dude at the front was telling me that we have two different hot tubs. Um, we we didn't even bring a swim, uh, um, pair of swim trunks or anything because we didn't even realize that anything was going to be open. Um, but yeah, they said that the um, the hot tubs here get all the way to 110 degrees. Um, and then there's one there. And then when you go up here, um, you can get to the other one. And then you can see the side of the building and everything. So just to like ride up these little steps. And then I kind of like the one up here a little bit better. And they have these like little uh, um, enclaves. So um, so that's the law right there, um, kind of you know overlooking the, um, the hot tub. And then behind me is a strip. And I, I don't know if I'm actually going to turn toward it, but the, behind me is a strip. Um, there's Planet Hollywood right there. So anyway, so this is back in the lobby um, area. And we'll just um, do a quick little walk toward uh, the Starbucks and the entrance to the mall so you can see that. So the, mall, the um, little shop here has alcohol in it, um, which is kind of nice. Um, there's also two liquor stores like in the mall, but it's, it's just interesting that um, we actually have liquor. Um, those are DVD machines, like for free, you can go and like, um, they're kind of like Redbox and you can get like free DVDs and everything um, if you stay here. There's our Starbucks, it's like right inside, but there's another Starbucks like in the mall. Um, and then you just like walk through that entrance and then like you're on the Miracle Mile. So this is um, part of the Miracle Mile. This is the casino area, the Miracle Mile. Um, you know, everybody's always interested in um, like casinos and stuff when, when they go to Vegas. And uh, this casino um, here is actually um, the Planet Hollywood. But like I said, um, the mall itself, which is attached onto the hotel, is um, a one-mile loop, and there's all kinds of stuff um, in 
like there, like there's a uh, Chris Angel's motorcycle on the left, and there's a bunch of them. Um, the other thing that's in here is Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. So on the right here, that's Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. Um, it's called Burger. Um, it's one, one of his many restaurants. Um, but that's like the view of it from the one side. That's a dining area there. And then you'll see that the um, the flames on the other side. And we actually um, will eat in this restaurant and we'll do a little review of the uh, the Gordon Ramsay restaurant. So we're just going to speed up and uh, run through the um, casino real quick. Um, a casino is a casino, it's just a bunch of slot machines and, and uh, card playing and everything. Um, but on the other side of the restaurant, um, you can see this line here. They haven't even opened yet yet. Um, this is like, I think, 9.45 in the morning, and they open at 10. And you can see there's already a line forming for Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. So apparently, like, the way this line works is, like, if you're a regular person, you get in that line. And then you can go to uh, the restaurant. Um, but if you have like some kind of special membership with Gordon Ramsay, or um, you're part of some like special resort or something, you can just like kind of skip a line and then um, just go up right up right up, right up in front. Um, so anyway, that's a Gordon Ramsay's restaurant that we went to um, called Burger. And I'm gonna step outside um, onto the my um, strip so you can see like where like our our hotel is in relation to the strip. And you can see how much brighter it is. So I believe, like in front of me, that's the Bellagio um, from uh, um, you know Ocean's Eleven and everything. And then there's Caesars on the right of it. And then, like, I don't know what that stuff is over there. And uh, it says Planet Hollywood because this is the Planet Hollywood Miracle Mile. But our hotel um, or whatever our timeshare is actually attached onto um, onto this. And so here is the strip. Um, What's interesting is if you look at the traffic, you can see that they're all like kind of parked on the strip. Um, typically, when you go to Las Vegas, unless you're like really, really in into touristy stuff, you try to avoid the strip altogether for driving because um, like that one section of the road is just super um, busy and crazy. And usually it's just easier to just kind of take like the little um, side lanes and everything to get around um, Las Vegas. The, um, the street layout at Las Vegas is a grid. Um, so pretty much like, for you to go like north two blocks or whatever, you can just go over a couple blocks. Oh, there's a Wrangler right there. Um, anyway, you can just go over a couple blocks and uh, just go up two streets and then go back over. Um, it's just a really kind of a big grid. Um, so anyway, so this is um, the entrance to like the Miracle Mile, whatever, which is the entrance to Planet Hollywood, which is attached onto our hotel. And uh, these videos are going to get a little more interesting. Um, I, I just wanted to do a little... Um, kind of video on where we were staying at um, when we're in Las Vegas and and we'll be back here in uh, in two years probably maybe maybe not in two years um, my niece graduates high school and so I don't know if we'll be here over Christmas or not or if it'll be over March I think it'll be over March probably because of her graduation and uh, there's a restaurant there um, like I was talking about the Gordon Ramsay restaurant that we'll uh, um, do a little review of um, and uh, the one thing interesting is the casino floors. Um, if you've ever been to Las Vegas, they have like different types of carpet on the ground, like marking, and you can see like how it's marked, like you can walk on it. So if you're a minor, you're only allowed to walk like in the area, like this whole like walkway the, um, area. You're not allowed to walk on what they call a casino floor, which is where the machines are. Um, and this is a, a little uh, um, kind of time lapse looking out our window. Um, at Las Vegas, and you can see um, how the weather is changing and everything um, over um, a given morning. And I think the time lapse was probably from like maybe 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. or something like that. The big open area that you see behind the MGM is actually the McLaren Airport. So anyway, please like and subscribe, and we will definitely have some off-roading videos um, from Vegas. Thanks.